All right, the speed of a current is six miles per hour. If the boat travels 54 miles upstream in the same time that it takes 90 miles to travel 90 miles downstream, find the speed of the boat in still water. So since we're looking at the times are equal, time is the same as, well, again, I would look at the uh, rate. Rate is distance divided by time. So manipulating this, the time is the same as the distance divided by the rate. Now the rate, if we look at, uh, let's look at upstream first. So this would be against the current. So the rate upstream is the speed of the boat. So I'll write that B is the speed of the boat. So upstream you have the speed of the boat. And then since you're going against the current, you would subtract the current out of that. And we already know the speed of the current is 6 miles per hour. Now this is the, the rate for upstream. The rate for downstream is the speed of the boat. But since we're going with the current now, we're going to add those 6 miles per hour from the current. So to set this up, the time upstream would be the distance upstream, which was 54 miles, divided by the rate upstream, which was the speed of the boat, minus 6. The speed downstream, or the time downstream, is the 90 miles divided by the speed of the boat, but now it's plus 6. Now since the times were equal, I've got the upstream time, which is 54, divided by the boat, minus 6 and it should equal the time downstream which is 90 divided by the boat plus 6 alright so this is a proportion meaning I can use cross multiplication so from here and this would equal 90 times B minus 6 <coughs> and then distributing the 54 and the 90 I get a 54 times the speed of the boat plus 324 I think that would equal 90 times the speed of the boat minus 540 so I want the B's on the same side of the equal sign so I'm going to subtract 54 B so I'm putting them on the right side of the equal sign this is just solving an equation and I'm also going to add the 540 <laughs> to both sides And that gives me uh, 864. So since I've got 36 times the speed of the boat, um, that would give us 864 miles, I suppose. So to solve this one, we're just going to divide both sides by 36. And yes, we already def defined the speed of the boat to be B. 864 divided by 36, I want to say it's 24. So 24 miles per hour. Yeah, the reason I know that those two are equal is because it said it was in the same time. And the, here we found expressions for time upstream and downstream. So I can just set those equal to each other since they represent the time.